Harold Homer Chase. Hal Chase. I know exactly who to call. Hello, is this Mike? Mike from Caught Looking with Mike Armstrong, Mike? Oh, I'm sorry. There's too many Mikes. You're vintage composer, Mike? Hey, I was going to call you next week. All right, cool. You can transfer me? Part of the Worldwide Mike Network. That's neat. All right, thanks, Mike. I'm being transferred. Hello, Mike. Is this uh, Caught Looking with Mike Armstrong, Mike? Hey, man, I'm glad I caught you. This is Scott at Reindeer Studios. How are you? Great, great. Hey, I found a Hal Chase card in my box of goodies. You're the Hal Chase guy, right? I thought you might be interested. It's a uh, 1988 Worldwide Sports Sporting News Baseball Superstars. What you call it? Uh, uh -huh. I'm thinking $375. Yeah, I know it's not worth the paper it's printed on. All right, how about $75 then? Still no, okay. Um, $75 and I will throw in a Hal Chase charcoal drawing. Cool, man. Hey, all right. I should have this in the mail in about uh, five minutes. All right, thanks, Mike. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Wow, that was a long phone call. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. And I know that 98% of you are wondering who the heck is Hal Chase? Uh, Mike from Caught Looking with Mike Armstrong is more of the expert on this because Hal is Mike's PC focus right now, but I'll do my best to enlighten you. And the 2% of you who know who Hal Chase is, feel free to troll me if I get something wrong. Simply put, Hal Chase was one of baseball's first bad boys. He played from 1905 to 1919 for the Highlanders, which sounds so much more dignified than the, the Yankees, doesn't it? Uh, White Sox, Blues, which were in the Federalist League, Reds, and Giants. He was a decent hitter, really, really good fielder, and big-time gambler. He was considered the Highlanders slash Yankees' first big superstar and was well-respected as a player by the likes of Babe Ruth and Walter Johnson. Chase was a California kid, and early in his career, he loved playing in the California leagues during the winters, but Major League Baseball had a rule that you couldn't do both, so Hal played under a fake name, Hal Schultz. He was like a rogue cop that doesn't play by the rules. Or maybe not. Um, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, banned from the American League for playing in the Federalist League. Then later in his career is when he would get into trouble for gambling, bribing other players, and throwing games. He knew about the 1919 Black Sox scandal and was thought to be a big part of it, but was acquitted. And Chase was still tarnished enough that he was effectively banned from baseball anyway. Really kind of a neat story. You could parallel pre-war gambling issues to 90s PEDs, but you know what? If you want to know more about Hal Chase, check out Caught Looking with Mike Armstrong. He's been uh, showing off some really neat Chase cards and pickups recently. It's just fascinating stuff. Hey, it is time for a terrible joke. So, there was this sesame seed who kept on betting on sporting events. He'd bet on football, baseball, basketball, Olympics, racing, anything he could find, even underwater rugby. His friend Poppy Seed confronted him one day. Sesame Seed, you got a problem. You need to stop gambling, dude. That's what a Poppy Seed sounds like. Uh, sesame Seed said, nah, man, I'm on a roll. This one's been extra fun for me just because I had to do a little research and find out about a guy I didn't know a whole lot about. There are so many stories like this throughout baseball and they seem to get buried a little bit over time. It's fun to dig them out a bit and then make some art and really connect. Alright, there's Prince Hal looking all princely. Is he going to catch that ball or does he have 80 bucks riding on this game? Oh man, here's where I noticed that I forgot to film my beauty shot. I just ruined the whole video. Oh, idiot. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to my Cy Young card. Thanks Mike for asking me to do this one. I really enjoyed it. Thanks everybody for watching. Even though I messed it all up, it's uh, amateur hour all up in here. 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time.